Alright, so I will be going over on how to initialize a new hard disk drive. So after you have installed your new hard disk drive into your desktop computer, it's, your computer generally won't recognize it here. The reason being, or it might recognize it, but you can't access it, or you'll have problems accessing it. And the reason being is because you need to initialize it. So go to your start menu, you're going to type in disk, and it's going to be under create and format hard disk partitions in the control panel. This is going to bring up your whole system of hard drives. Now this was the new one I installed. If you are right to get rid of everything and just start new and everything, you can hit format. It is going to warn you to back everything up that you want to keep. What formatting does, it is going to erase it all and it's going to hit the partition into NT an NTFS format. Uh, that's also what you're going to do if you, it's a new hard drive and it also says raw right here. You need to format it. If you do encounter the error that comes up that cannot in a format or it fails, uh, which has happened to me, what I needed to do was restart my computer. Um, and that's because the computer still thinks you have the hard drive open. Even if you close the Windows Explorer, it still thinks that it's open. So just restart your computer. Don't open up Windows Explorer, which is this. Um, and then format it. Now you will notice that there's a option called Mark Partition as Active. Don't mess with that unless that is uh, unless you understand what you're doing. What that is, it means that it's the when your computer boots up, it's going to look for the operating system under that disk partition or that hard drive. Since I do not contain a operating system on that hard drive. Obviously, you're going to want to click no, because it does warn you. Um, it also states that it will not start, because it can't, the computer will keep on looking for that boot up system. Now, you can change your boot up system, too, on which hard drive to find also. And I will go over that momentarily. Now, to change your boot up, which operating system you want, you can set that partition under that disk management to active and then go to your start menu and type in msconfig oops under the boot section it should list which operating systems you have you can select that operating system if you want that to be a default one you would select it as default and so from then on, when your computer boots up, it will boot up that operating system. And that is on how you initialize your new hard drive, format it, and if you want a new boot operating system as default, that's how you do it.